Welcome everybody, this is Roberto from Umberger and this will be uh, our first uh, webinar about uh, DRR Studio. So let's start with uh, opening DRR Studio. So DRR Studio is part uh, of the Umberger Hub platform and you can see here the Umberger Hub connected to the robot. So first thing you have to do, you have to be connected to the wireless of the Umberger Hub. You see, I'm here connected to the Umberger Hub network. And so this is the setup for our webinar. You can see here the Dear Heart Studio interface. Uh, this is the robot uh, teach pendant and uh, here you can see the real robot uh, to understand uh, what I'm doing. Uh, okay, so you need to start with a new project. So file, new project. Let's call it webinar and create. The standard setup is OK. So this will create a new Python environment, a virtual Python environment with all the library you need to develop your application. This may take some seconds to set up, but it's just the first time. OK, so here in this toolbar, you see the um, project explorer. So this is your project and the HasDRL is based on uh, Python. Right click on the project, new Python file. Uh, let's call it uh, uh, exercise one. Okay, so you see here is your Python script and this is the uh, script editor. You see that um, in the first line, this is this import and this is for importing all the dozen robot library. Uh, so the one uh, of the main feature of this uh, DRL studio is the how to complete feature. So if I start writing the commands, it, uh, it can suggest me all the commands available. So I have just to start typing the word and then it will uh, auto complete for me. For example, I have here a uh, move L and if I start writing again, it will uh, suggest me all the parameter that I have to use to uh, the to use this command. Okay, so uh, let's start with a pick and place application. So I will connect to the robot. This here you have to set up the EP address for the Umberger Grab and the EP address for the robot and just click connect. Okay. Now that I'm connected, you can see that uh, all the DRL toolbar is enabled. So for example, uh, I can enable the servo with this command. As you can see on the teach pendant, I am requested to give control. So I will accept and blue light. So now servo is on. Let's start with a simple pick and place uh, application. Uh, I can use direct teaching to move the robot. So I want to start from this position. All I have to do is to take the current tool position with this command. Okay, so this is my current tool position, so I will name it approach1. Then 
I have to go down and, for example, pick this object. So again, I can use direct teaching to move the robot in the right position and take the point pick. and take the current position. So I will go on with the move all command. So move all, give approach one and give some velocity commands. So this is velocity and this is acceleration for the move out command. So this is the approach move out and this is the picking position. Okay, now I have to enable uh, my Cobot pump here, so I can use the IO control bar. In this way, I can set uh, digital inputs and outputs to control and uh, uh, test the result of my uh, electrical scheme. So my Cobot pump is enabled on digital one, so I can enable. Okay, so it's grasping. Perfect. So what I have to do is to use the set digital output command. Here it is. So one and I have to enable it. Okay. Of course I can go back to my point. So if I select this POSIX, right click and move to the robot will move to the point, also for this one, okay, perfect. So now I have to go up again, so I will just copy and paste the approach command. Uh, and then I can have some other approach here. Uh, if I want, I can have directly all the move uh, compiled with this command. So this is the move in the current position with this predefined velocity and acceleration. here and I will teach this other move L. So let me check. I will again use IO control to test my digital digital outputs. So with one enable and with two okay is disable. So I have to release the object and this is set digital output to one and then go back to I will add a wait command after the to, for waiting for the picking and the release. Okay, now move to, okay. So if I want to test the whole program, I have just to click on play. 
and this will launch all the program. Okay, it has not grasped because I have some digital outputs enabled, but I have to perform some setups. So my code pump must be switched off at the beginning of the program. Okay, let's test it again. Let's see if this time it works. Okay. Okay. If there is um, in this event log toolbar, you will see event receive and information receive from the robot. So, if something is wrong in uh, in my program. For example, if I write something that has no sense, as in this case, and I will try to run the program, okay, you will see here a warning saying what is the, the real problem. So name DDF is not defined. And let's see another important feature of uh, 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 Dear Heart Studio is the uh, syntactic analysis of the problem. So, uh, before you run your program, Dear Heart Studio is able to say if something is wrong. As in this case, you see here it is underlined uh, with red color. So, this is uh, for sure uh, some problem. And in this case, I have to remove it. So for example, if I have some typos here, okay, it says again, approach is not defined and I have some quick quick fix to apply to define my variable. Okay. So let's go on with uh, upload to the robot. So now you have a working program and you want to upload it to the robot. So you have to use this function, upload DRL to hub. You see the robot is blinking. Okay, DRL upload successfully. So now the program is on the robot and we can use it from the teach pendant. So I will take control of the robot with teach pendant. I will click on withdraw. Okay. Uh, I will create a new tax builder program. And to run my code as suggested by the pop up, uh, I have to just insert a custom code with this function, so sub program run. and the name of my Python file. So, uh, size one. Okay, confirm. And now I can just run my program on the robot teach pendant. Okay. Perfect. 
so uh, if you now have to change something on your program you can uh, let's say that I do not I want to change my picking uh, position so I will pick my object uh, here I just have to change Yeah, approach position. Tool. And tool. So now I have just to upload again the program to the robot by the, this menu. Okay, success, so I have updated my script on the program and so all I have to do to test it is to play it from the teach panel. So I have uh, no more need to write again this custom code block. I have just to run the program because the script has been automatically updated. Okay. If I want to see uh, this particular script on Teach Pendant, I have to use another option that is uh, this one upload DRL to USB device. So the only things that I have to do is to put a USB device on the robot controller. I will put it right now on the robot controller. And please notice that USB is in robot controller, not in your uh, desktop, not in your PC. Okay, so I have to use upload DRL to USB device. Okay, so you see that now exercise one has been uploaded to USB device. So from my teach pendant, all I have to do in this case is to say in my custom code block, okay, this is not just a single line, but I will import a script, import. I have to select, here it is, exercise one. Okay, and here is my code. So this is the code that we have just written in the RL Studio, you can see it here. And of course, I can confirm save and run my program okay let's move on with another exercise so I will have in my project explorer here new python file I will call it Touch and Pick. Okay. So what I want to do, uh, I want the robot to go down here, touch the uh, this object to understand uh, when he have to stop. So I have go down, stop, pick the object, and then perform some palletizing option. And I will do so uh, using do's and skill. So what I want to show you is how to use DRL Studio to develop your own skill and then mix your skill with existing do's and skill. So uh, again, I will have here some initialization for my cobot pump, this command will set up 
the covered pump to stay off at the beginning of the program. At this point, I have to I want to define the touch function. So is the uh, the function that will wait uh, to check if the target force is reached by the robot. So I will call it uh, wait touch. So here you see how to indentation feature and true. So I will iterate to check the force on my tool and I will use this predefined function. So check force condition. So I will check Z axis. Okay. I will wait for 10 Newton maximum and my reference coordinate will be the robot tool. Okay. You see here some error. I have forgotten to put the condition okay so one of one when you start writing things in python one of the most boring thing is indentation and drl studio helps here because indentation here is wrong and uh, drl studio tells to adjust it so indentation is not multiple for okay more action reformat file okay and it has automatically corrected the indentation for me okay so i have now to enable servo again so this will be my approach position here. Okay, so this is my move out. Then I have to go down and I will go down in the Z direction. So I will just have here to put zero on the Z coordinate and this move L have to be asynchronous because we have to check the touching condition so a move L okay this A stands for uh, asynchronous so this is an asynchronous motion at this point I have to wait for touch okay here is my function so when I will exit from this iteration, it will be because uh, maximum force has been reached. So I have to stop my robot in Hassas do true. Okay, Q stop, perfect. This, this will stop the robot, but will not engage the brakes. So now I have to enable my cobalt pump to grasp the object Shoot. off and again one on and at this point I have to go back up okay so that's it I will upload it now to the robot controller upload okay so this is now uploaded on the robot controller and I will use it as a personal a custom dozen skill so I will withdraw 
control from each pendant. Let's create uh, a new tax builder program. Okay, I said that I want to perform some palletizing uh, operation, so I have to select pallet and vacuum gripper in my work cell manager. Okay, so first thing I need to uh, perform this touching operation, so I will use custom code and said again sub program run touch touch and play and pick okay this is the same name of my file here okay confirm so uh, I will use for the palletizing the same the existing function of dozen so I have to go on my command list select place palette okay Palette settings. I will teach my palette using three point. So this will be point one. This will be point two. will be my point three. Get pose. Confirm. I have to select the repeating condition. Okay. And I have to say okay. Repeat the program. I have nine pieces. So nine times. Okay. So that's it. I'm ready to test my program. Let's see what's happened. Okay. So something is wrong in my program. Here you can see I have I've been going down with too much velocity. So actually the maximum force is worth reached, but also the maximum user force is worth reached. So the program has been going in stop. Okay, so I have corrected here my program with this move L command going slow, uh, slowly. I will upload again my code. Perfect. And now let's check if this time is correct. I will so I will now run my program. Okay, now it's working. Okay, perfect. So, this was uh, our first uh, webinar. 
about uh, the uh, studios. Uh, we will have uh, some other webinar uh, in the next days uh, to see more advanced features. And uh, if you need, uh, uh, if you have any question, if you need any support, just contact uh, the Homburger team and uh, it will be uh, more than pleasure to help you with DRL setup and uh, application developments.